let's say that we have some configuration of three charges that is let's say we have a charge q1 over here charge q2 over here charge q3 over here and let the distance between q1 and q3 be r13 distance between q1 and q2 be r12 similarly the distance between q2 and q3 be r23 now what is the amount of work that we need to do in order to assemble these charges that is to the amount of work that we need to do to make this configuration of source charges now let us imagine first that we bring our charge q1 from infinity to this point and we bring next we bring our charge q2 from infinity to this point and similarly we bring our charge q3 from infinity to this point therefore the net work done will be equal to the work done to assemble the charge q1 plus the work done to assemble the charge q2 plus the work done to bring the charge q3 from infinity to the point where it is so what will be the work done w1 to bring the charge q1 from infinity to the point where it is now over here it will be zero since there is no electric field that we need to fight against we can freely bring our charge q1 without spending any energy as there is no electric field so work done will be equal to zero so what will be our work so what will be w2 that is the work that we need to do to bring our charge q2 now since we already brought q1 this q1 has set up an electric field in the space around it and in order to bring the charge q2 from infinity to this point we need to do the work against the electric field set up by the charge q1 and in the previous video we saw that the work done was equal to the charge times the potential at the point so we can write this as charge which is q2 times the potential at this point which is potential will be equal to q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r12 where r12 is the distance between the charges q1 and q2 this will be our so this will be our w2 similarly w3 will be equal to q3 now in the third case as we bring in our charge q3 we already have charge q1 and q2 both of them have set up their own electric field so we can make use of the principle of superposition to calculate the potential at this point that is the potential due to charge q1 alone plus the potential due to charge q2 alone so it will be potential due to charge q1 alone will be equal to q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r13 plus potential due to charge q2 alone it will be q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r12 so our net work done will be equal to we can take 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught outside and it will be q2 q1 divided by r12 plus q3 q1 divided by r13 plus q3 q2 r here it will be r 2 3 2 3 since it is a distance between the charge q2 and q3 now this is just for three charges what if we have n number of charges then we can see the general pattern over here the work done will be equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and here we will make use of summation notation that is summation i goes from 1 to n since we have n number of charges and again j to represent the i will represent the first charge and j will represent the second one this also goes from 1 to n qy qj r ij now notice that there are some problems 
in this formula firstly when we are using this formula there is nothing stopping us from including the terms like q1 and q1 which make no sense so we can put the restriction by saying i not equal to j so we will never have q1 and q1 so this problem is solved now secondly there is nothing stopping us from counting each term twice that is we are having q1 and q2 and again we are having q2 and q1 but as we can see we only have one of them we, we cannot repeat the pairs so we can overcome this by just dividing by 2 so if we divide by 2 our original formula it will be 4 by epsilon naught summation of i goes from 1 to n summation of j goes from 1 to n qi qj r ij and i will never be equal to j this will be a condition so now we have solved all the problems this is the amount of work it would take to assemble n number of source charges bringing each charge from infinity so now we have solved a problem this is the amount of work that we need to do to bring each charge from infinity to its position now notice that we can write this formula in an even simpler form we will first write half and since the qi term depends only on the i we can take it out of the summation of j so we can write it as summation i goes from 1 to n qi and now we can have summation j goes from 1 to n and now we will write 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught qj over r ij now we will enclose this term in bracket this will be our work done we have not written anything new since qi did not depend on j we have taken it out of the summation for j since when we are summing over j terms the qi will always be constant now let's say for example that we had i as 1 and j as e going from 1 to n then as we are summing over j we would have q1 q2 plus q1 q3 up to q1 qn notice that in all these terms q1 is constant we can take it out and we can write it as q2 plus q3 plus qn up to qn or another way to write it would be summation j goes from 1 to n qj and since we chose i as 1 we can just replace 1 by i this is what we have done over here we have taken the constant qi outside since it never dependent on j now notice this term over here looks like the potential at the point ri due to all the other charges qj's that is due to all the charges instead of the charge qi so we can write this as half summation of i goes from 1 to n qi the potential at ri that is the potential at the point where the charge qi is located this will be our work done we can write this because we know that the potential at the point r is equal to the charge divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r where r is the distance between the source charge and the point where we want to calculate the potential let's say source charges are over here and we want to calculate the point p so this will be r potential at the point r similarly over here we see that the charges are the source charges are the j terms qj and rij is nothing but the distance between the point ri and rj so this term is nothing but the potential of all the source charges which in our case will be qj at the position ri so we can finally say that the work we need to do 
to assemble n number of charges from infinity to their positions is half summation of i goes from 1 to n q of i times the potential at the point where the charges q i are located. So this will be our final formula. This is the amount of work that we need to do to assemble n number of charges. Or equally as we saw in the last video we can say that this is the potential energy of the system. This is the amount of energy that is stored in a system due to its configuration.